Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make a braised brisket. So, like you know, I have my brisket over here. And I made a video last time on how to clean the brisket. So this one, I got it on the store and it's pretty much clean. I don't have to trim a lot because this one comes already clean. The only thing that I took out is this part of the trim. It was a little dark, dry meat. As you can see, it's already clean up. So I don't have to do much on the cleaning. It usually comes with a lot of fat around. So I'm gonna show you what I took out. As you can see, it's not gonna be a lot. This is what I took out of my trimming. So this is the bad fat, like this one. And some of the dry meat that was on the edge, on this side. So, like I say, I have a video on how to clean the brisket. You can check out my channel, look in there. I'm gonna save this for my braised brisket. This one you can dis discard, you know, just throw it away. So, as you can see, I don't have much to take out from here. So I'm just gonna take just a little bit of this dried meat. But it's not much. Let's use this for my bracing. Same thing here. And this one over here. This is basura, this is not good. And little over here, so just lift it so you can clean it that way or this way, you know. However you feel more comfortable doing it. Instead of, you know, lifting it up, you're just gonna go like this and shave. Like that. And over here, <clears throat> only this part I'm gonna take out. Same thing, you lift it with your hand so that way it's easier to clean. So that's where you see the white fat, that's where you're gonna step. Just like that. This one, take it out. Okay, it's not much as you can see, we're not taking out too much because we need some fat also. And I'm gonna brace it in my oven, so you're gonna have your oven preheated at 375. And we're gonna cook it at 400 uh, Fahrenheit for about three hours. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna add our seasoning, my rub. And I have a video on how to make the rub for the, any meat. I make a video on the side so I can show you all the ingredients and you can see it and make it at home. Um, this one has you know a lot of ingredients, it has about 20 ingredients. Or you can just make it with salt pepper, you know, Texas style. But well, you can always add you know your own seasoning if you want. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a salt shaker and uh, marinate it. So I'm gonna come back and show you the next step. Alright, so what I did, I just, you know, finished my rubbing my brisket and you're gonna season it heavily, you know, a lot of seasoning. So that way it absorbs all the flavor. And then we're just gonna let it marinate overnight or as much time that you need. Either 12 hours, 6 hours, you know, it's gonna be depend on, on how much time you wanna kill. So make sure you just get all the flavors, all the seasoning. And then I'm gonna brace it. So what I have over here is a one carrot, two ribs of a celery, one onion, two garlic cloves, some cloves, and my trimmings. So I'm gonna marinate this brisket. Uh, and I'm gonna add some wine to my marinade also, 
you can use either white, red, you can use pure if you want. And I'm just gonna let it marinate with the wine overnight. And then uh, we're gonna wrap it on plastic, put them in the fridge, put them away. And then when this is done marinating, we're gonna come back, put them in the oven. So make sure you have your oven preheated, 375. And we're gonna come back and uh, finish it in the oven. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands and come back. All right, so after you take it out, out of the fridge, I got my plastic film on it so I can put it in the fridge and take it out. And you can use it with this, cook it with this, with a plastic film. This is a commercial plastic film. <clears throat> so if you wanna use it, go ahead. If not, that's fine. You know, it's gonna be up to you. If you don't wanna use it, you don't wanna risk it, go ahead and take it out. But I always use it and it never melts into my food. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my foil and this is my commercial foil. Make sure you use a commercial foil so that way it's thicker. So I don't want you to hear all this noise of the foil. So I'm gonna come back when this is done and show you the next time. In the oven, I don't know, here at 400 uh, Fahrenheit. And we're gonna cook it for three hours. So we're gonna come back and show you in three hours. Okay, it's the, so what I did, I lowered my shelf or my tray, put them in the uh, lower uh, level and we're gonna cook it for one hour on the lower level and then we're gonna change it to the top in the third hour but in the meantime I have some uh, peaches working so I'm gonna make some uh, roasted peaches so that way you can stay tuned for dessert okay I'm gonna take out my brisket we're gonna put them on the third level shelf on the oven and I'm gonna check my temperature so I'm gonna come back and see where we at Okay, so what I'm gonna do, it's uh, 25 minutes away in the last hour. So I'm gonna take it out, remove the foil, and put it back in there and finish it in the lower, in, on the highest uh, shelf on the oven. So I'm gonna t come back and show you what's gonna be next. Okay, so after I remove my foil, as you can see, here's the plastic over here you can see it it didn't melt into my food okay it's a plastic film so what I'm gonna do now is um, just check them it should be done by now okay Nice and done. And I'm just gonna take them out out of the pan and put them in a tray. And I'm gonna finish them in the uh, top shelf in the oven for about 25 more minutes. As you can see, my juice is coming clear. No blood. So I'm gonna just finish them in the oven for 15 more minutes. And uh, we're gonna come back and make a sauce. Okay, so what I did, I put them in a tray by itself. So I'm gonna put them on the top of the shelf, raise my temperature to 455, and add five more minutes to my timing. So it's gonna be half an hour, uh, 455, and then we're gonna cook it like that, and we're gonna make a sauce out of this after we strain this. So we're gonna come back and show you how to make the sauce. Okay, so we're 15 minutes away, and what I did, I put my oven to broil, so 500 degrees Fahrenheit. But as you can see, this brisket is almost done. So what I'm doing is just keeping nice roasting color on top. And we're just gonna come back, let them cook for 15 minutes, and let it rest, and then cut it. Okay, so as you can see, it looks like it's been in the smoker, but it's not, just on time. So, what I did, you know, I just gonna take them out, let it rest on the pan, on the tray. 
as you can see this nice color it looks like it's been in the smoker and it only took us three hours to cook this uh, brisket so as you can see I'm just gonna let it rest and then we're gonna cut it all right so what are you gonna do with your uh, when you take out all the vegetables from the juice and we're gonna bring it to boil and what we're gonna do we're gonna reduce it by half so we're gonna make a demi and in the meantime I have a, a saucepan with a garlic two garlic cloves and a half an onion and I'm just getting some uh, color from my onion with no oil or no fat at all so I'm gonna add some black pepper and a little salt and I'm gonna make a red wine reduction out of this so what we're gonna do get some color and then we're gonna step back add some red wine and what it's here if you start burning the alcohol so it's gonna take a little bit and we're gonna make a reduction of that red wine so what I'm gonna do is just gonna bring it to boil and let it flame it's gonna start uh, you know burning the alcohol and then uh, we're gonna reduce it by almost all sick almost dry and then we're gonna add our demi and we're gonna make our sauce so we're gonna come back in a few minutes after you let it uh, rest I already some, I did some cuts for my Spanish version. As you can see, you can see the nice bark on the rim. It looks like if it was smoking in the backyard for hours, but it only took us three hours to cook. So as you can see, nice and juicy. See, still dripping. So hopefully you guys like this video on how to do the brisket in the oven. It's, you know, it's not in the smoker, but it looks like it was if it was in the smoker. So hopefully you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Chef Alex Perez in Facebook, Chef Alex Perez in uh, YouTube. Share my videos, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Enjoy. Right, so as you can see my wine it's already all sick so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna strain it and finish it in my pan so same thing with my uh, demi you can see my demi it's already done and I'm gonna combine it with my red wine reduction And you can always finish it with some uh, butter. That's gonna be optional. So one tablespoon of butter, bring it to boil, let it reduce. And then just put them in a saucepan or saucier. And you can use this red wine reduction for any of your meats. I'm gonna use this one for the brisket so that way I can utilize my or juice from the brisket and I have already some plated over here some of my brisket but as you can see I pour some of my sauce around my brisket so this is gonna be optional or you can always go ahead and do the traditional horseradish cream so hopefully you guys like this video we'll see you next time thank you enjoy